2023 Centurion RI-230. Scheme on this boat is the core scheme. Uh, the hull bottom is charcoal, and then your top or main stripe is going to be white frost. And gator step on this boat, uh, bottom layer black, top layer shark fin. Uh, taking a look at the tower, we have the white drop zone auto tower uh, with the charcoal accents on there. And of course the, uh, the anodized bombshell 2.0 racks. The XL Bimini on top. Rolling around front, we got those nice big docking lights. Uh, look really, really strong on this boat. Um, but yeah, I mean the body lines on this RI are uh, unmatched. So um, let's uh, let's jump on inside and take a look at this 2023 Centurion RI 230. 2023 Centurion RI 230. Starting on the platform back here, we have in charcoal. And as we look in, we'll go through the color scheme first. So we have tan, charcoal, and white. And the charcoal is in that hex accent. Um, and then uh, our gator step is gonna be black bottom layer, shark fin top layer. And uh, the interior deck is charcoal. And uh, looking at our tower really quick, the board rack option, we have the Bombshell 2.0 in the anodized color. Uh, and then the drop zone tower is in Mystic White or white uh, with your charcoal accents on the side. Uh, you have your Champ audio package, so your white Rev 10s. And then we have the XL Bimini on top. So uh, starting back here on the transom, uh, just like our RIs, and we love th we love this feature. Uh, you got your lean backs, so out hanging out. Really great option as far as uh, your convenience features on the back of the boat. So uh, let's throw those down, jump on in. As we get in, we got our nice uh, step step pad here, so you're not stepping on any, any of your vinyl uh, and walking right in. So. Uh, we have this in our uh, wraparound configuration at the moment. Well, and um, you've got your lean backs here. Same thing on the starboard side. And then under each seat, you have your storage. So right now we get our lean backs there and our storage. Uh, that's for your surf bench here. Over here on the port side. Got storage under every single seat here. So, really nice, and we'll just look at that walkway again. So going through, you've got speakers everywhere. So really like the way they do that on the inside here. Um, you know, plenty of sound no matter where you sit. Um, and so, you know, as we go through, we'll take a look. We'll stop here first at a, at the glove box. Illuminated Centurion logo. A lot of junk in there right now. It's just, you know, cameras, we're out here filming, so. Um, but really nice billet aluminum, you know, just billet pieces all over the RI. That's kind of, you know, what makes this boat have that unique look to it. Um, billet cup holders, billet everything. Um, as we're talking about storage, let's take a look under the OB seat. We got life jackets under there. Uh, wind dam, batteries, trash can, battery switches in there as well. Battery switch right in on the right side. All right, now we'll move on to the helm area. And before we get there, we'll take a look. We got a nice in-floor cooler. So a lot of room in that cooler for a whole day's worth of beverages. And uh, as we, uh, yeah, going through, let's take, oh, we got the heaters, of course. Gotta have the heaters on the boat. So, you know, these will pull out here. Uh, you got one there, and then you have one in the uh, walkway up to the bow, and then you have uh, one underneath the helm uh, to keep the driver's toes warm. So we'll get in the helm. Uh, right now, we'll take a look at this helm seat. Cobra racing seat. 
super comfy, uh, really wraps around the shoulders, uh, but uh, you know, it's, it's really comfortable. So, you know, of course you got your bolster. Um, I'm, I'm not a bolster guy. Um, we've got black as our dash color uh, with the white stitching accent here. Uh, and, uh, and you got you got a bit of standard and then you have some black hex as well so really nice depth depth in the uh, in the helm I know this uh, steering wheel doesn't quite look like the Centurion uh, it's we'll get that swapped out but um, but this is new 2023 so we have a couple uh, new things here so I mean heck you look at look at your um, what do you call them? Paddle shift controls, really. Uh, cruise control on the right. You've got your stinger plate adjustments here on the left. Uh, I think they did a really good job of, you know, making these look really nice as far as that billet, you know, that billet aluminum look. Um, but uh, you got your wireless charger here. It's in a really nice spot. Um, new as well, this mirror. So very adjustable. Now I look like a clown because I just threw it all over the place, but adjust it like that. I mean, all different types of ways. I really love this mirror. Plenty of different ways to set that thing up. Um, so really quickly, we'll go through the screen. Um, nothing, nothing big has changed on the RI screen. Um, really over here, you have your vitals, things that, you know, don't quite change too much. Um, you've got your, um, you know, tack speedometer all that stuff over here uh, engine pressure battery uh, depth uh, water temp and then over here you have uh, more of your interactive menu so uh, we're on the home page right now you have the quick launch quick surf options up top and then um, your presets top right and then uh, we'll go through the uh, menu bar here so home page second one down is going to be your surf system uh, so, you know, starboard, port side tab, your center tab. So if I'm using the stinger plate, I'm just hitting that paddle shift and I'm bringing that stinger plate down. So that's going to help you change the pitch of the wave. Uh, so next option will be ballast. So all of your ballast locations here, plenty of space to put water. Uh, now, total ballast in this boat is 5,400 pounds. So a lot of weight in this RI-230. Convenience features, we got all the lights on right now. I probably should have the heaters on, but I don't know, just one less thing to turn on, I guess. Um, music, so pretty simple music screen here. Uh, you know, you can change Bluetooth, auxiliary, FM, AM, all that stuff. Um, but, um, but yeah, that's about it there. You've got your zone control here. So whether you're doing your tower speakers, sub, interior, EQ, I think that's nice, you know, having an equalizer option so you can kind of customize your own sound. Um, and then uh, navigation. So we're out here on the river. Doesn't quite read the river. Um, but yeah, so pretty simple to navigate through. Man, man, settings up here. That's about it. I try not to get too deep in the settings. And then uh, as we get over here, we got the ROV camera. So actually, um, camera's not showing up. Um, I'd have to double check that, but you get a uh, fuel consumption data. So a lot of people love to know how much fuel they're burning. So I think it's a really cool feature on the Centurions, uh, especially the RIs, uh, where you can really get live time data on how much fuel you have, how much fuel you're using, and uh, kind of manage it from there. But other than that, you know, non-screen related, you get your horn, uh, blower, navigation lights, anchor lights. You can also do those on the screen. Um, push to start, but then of course you got this nice key to get everything going. Um, so throttle, of course, where it always is, but yeah, nice here. We'll move, uh, move up to the bow. Take a look up here. There's our spot for that slide in wind dam. Uh, we got the bow filler cushion in, um, but storage under every single seat up here. Now there are plug and play bags under each seat, but um, if you're going for a steep wave, you probably won't have those filled. Um, so still plenty of room. Um, you know, you've got your chargers up front, uh, you got that cigarette lighter or 12 volt, and then your USBs. Cup holders, cup holders, cup holders everywhere. Nav lights here on the sides. 
but really, I mean, one of my favorite features about the RI uh, is is how much gator step they, they put on this boat as far as just safely entering and exiting the boat. So it, it really gives you that that safe feel when you're stepping on and off from the bow. You know, you don't you're not slipping around. And before I go, I'm gonna show you the engine. I I feel like I always forget that and I wanna make sure we touch on the engine. And of course your storage. So back on the transom under the transom, I guess. Uh, plug and play bags on each side, uh, and then you have storage here. And of course, the engine here is the ZZ6. So PCM ZZ6, it is the 6.2 liter, 450 horsepower, and uh, love that engine. Of course, ski pylon there. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Oh well, real quick, locker back here, board storage, or plug and play bag. Lot of ballast on this boat. One last look here, and let's uh, let's get some running footage. All right, here we are. Scratch that. Colin's going to take us on a drive-by of the 2023 RI230 with the ZZ6 and quick launch. You're going to see how that bow stays way low to put down all three plates. Centurions do a great job of handling. Nice soft right through the rollers. Zoolandering it, only turning left. Give us a call at N3 Boatworks for more information on this beautiful RI230 or the rest of the Centurion line, 317-845-9253.